Hey cousins, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bonsoir, hola. I don't know why I'm speaking all these languages, maybe because it's the topic that we're on today, but I want to talk about five ways for you to recognize that you are under some type of spiritual attack or you're in whole war and you're unaware. Ephesians, I believe, talks about, you know, we should not be unaware of the devices of the enemy. And the reason is not to glorify Satan or his little minions, but to know so that we can be armed with the knowledge required for us to overcome. Scripture also says that the people of God perish because of a lack of knowledge. So because I don't want to perish, I want to know what God's word says. And I also want to have understanding around the context of the realm of the spirit so that I can operate as a mighty battle axe in the hand of the Lord. So here are the five ways. Number one, you don't want to pray. <laughs> yes, your prayer life is under attack. You struggle to pray, or maybe you're still praying, but the zeal is not there, the desire is not there, the longing to spend time with God, you're counting the clock, you're like, when is this 15, 20, 30 hour over, right? You're under spiritual attack. The enemy knows that if he can shut your mouth, he can shut your access to the throne of grace. Even Jesus had to fight for his prayer time. He would go off to the mountains, right? And it wasn't because, you know, he wasn't fully God, but the the, the human side of him required intimacy with the father that could only be assessed through prayer scripture also talks about when you pray when you fast as these are not optional components to our faith walk prayer is a daily thing pray without ceasing is a commandment and that is a requirement that ceasing as apostle Solomon says is a continuous prayer it's a consistent prayer so you're praying every day not some days not most days but every day that is the goal for every believer to spend that level of intimacy where you're carving out time with God just for you and him and that's the only way that in this life you will continue to grow anything that's not growing is dying and we know that even in the natural when we, we stop growing we start dying and so with that being said your um mandate to pray is not optional and so the enemy is always going to attack you at that place at your desire at your hunger at your zeal at your passion at your pursuit um he's going to hurl accusations about god to you so if you find your play, yourself in a prayerless state you have already or you're probably already in the war or the attack is heavy and this is the time to pray even if you don't want to so that's the first way to know that you're under some sort of spiritual attack or in some sort of spiritual war is your prayer life is being attacked number two your mood Mood, 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 mood. So I know we like to like say, oh, forget your feelings in Christianity, but the reality of the situation is that God created our feelings for a reason. God created us to have these emotions because they were intended prior to the fall, right? The original intent. We talk about that all the time in Christendom. Well, your emotions have an original intent, and that original intent was to give you language and communication and discernment about the things that God desires to communicate to you about. That's why you get a sinking feeling in your stomach when something bad is about to happen it's God way of communicating to your natural mind what is probably spiritual and has yet to occur and so oftentimes when you are in spiritual warfare your mood is doing this up and down up. you wake up angry you wake up discontent you're feeling some type of way that's your discernment heightening and telling you something is wrong, something is happening, or you. And the only way you're gonna find an answer to what is wrong, what is happening, is going to pray, spending time with God. And so, anytime you find yourself unbalanced in your mood, and this is not due to life circumstance, so nothing has happening, no tragedy has befallen you, there's no present reality that would cause your disposition to be in such a way, you're probably under spiritual attack. That's the second way that um, you can tell if you are under spiritual attack. The third way is that you're getting these demonic thoughts. So often accompanying these moods are demonic thoughts. I'm not talking about when you're like, is it me? Is it God? Is it the devil? I'm talking about the thoughts you know are clearly from the pit of hell. Kill yourself. Quit. Do this, do that, all things that are truly demonic in nature. And, you know, maybe you're one of those people that the enemy has never attacked in this way. But I promise you, if you have a major call on your life, one of the tried and true methods that Satan gets for you to abort your call is for you to kill yourself. Quit. Quit now. Quit before. And he will try to convince you that death is better than the present pain that you are in or the feelings that you are in. 
And so one of the things you have to do is take those thoughts captive and put them under the submission of Christ Jesus, right? Every high thing that is exalting itself above Christ, you submit it to the Lordship of your Savior. And one of those things are those demonic thoughts. You have to grab hold of them. Don't let them pass. Don't hide them in the back of your brain. Expose them, shine light on them, and accuse them accordingly. You are a false thought and you are a lie and you are from your father, the liar. And so exposing those thoughts allows you to have power over them. But demonic thoughts are the third way that you'll know that you are in spiritual warfare or under spiritual attack okay the fourth way is infirmity unexplainable sickness you were just fine monday and now tuesday you got a whole cold your head hurts and i'm not saying germs aren't real and i'm not saying that you know we have to ignore science or you know discard the reality of germs right what i am saying is that the enemy uses germs and the enemy uses sickness because what better way to get you out of position than to give you infirmity right infirmity is a spirit when jesus healed the woman with the issue of blood i believe um he he cast out the spirit of infirmity several times across the context of scripture so there is a spirit assigned to sickness and that spirit is very prevalent and it often attacks believers especially when you're on the cusp of what and who god wants you to be you're gonna get sick out of nowhere and so you know if you have been stewarding your health you're eating well you're being healthy you're not being around people who have sick you're you're being cautious about you know what washing your hands all of those natural things you know faith without works being that if you're doing all those natural things and you're just randomly getting sick yeah sign hint 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 number one enemies probably attacking you on the vein of sickness um, the last thing I believe I talk, we, I want to talk to you guys about, or the fifth thing, right, the fifth sign that you are under some kind of spiritual attack, is fatigue. You're tired out of nowhere. You want to go to read your Bible, you're tired. You want to, you know, go pray, you're tired. Every, you're always tired, but you get in solidly eight to nine hours of sleep. I'm not saying you're the person that works nine jobs. You're tired because, the and I, you know how I know it's demonic? You know, <laughs> I heard Prophet Tiffany say this once. Because when you scroll on Instagram, you're not tired. When you on TikTok, and I'm speaking to the choir, and I'm, you know, you're scrolling on TikTok for an hour and a half, you're not tired. When you're on YouTube Shorts and you've been up there for an hour, you're not tired. When you're watching that basketball game or that soccer game or that full, you're not tired. But as soon as it comes to the things that got, oh Lord Jesus, there's the fatigue. It just found its way over here. And so you have to know that spiritual. You have to know it's an attack. If the enemy can't stop you from doing it, he'll try to prevent you by putting obstacles in your way so those obstacles will come in the form of you know the infirmity we talked about sickness or will come in the you know shape of fatigue and so how do you overcome that by sheer strength of your will accompanied by the support of the holy spirit there are some times where even if you're tired you set that alarm for 3 a.m because the lord told you pray at 3 a.m daughter pray at 3 a.m son right you don't want to read your bible because you're tired you give yourself that extra 10 12 30 minutes required to read your bible despite how tired you are and don't do it in the bed on the bible app sit up in your dining room table on your island sit up at a desk right and read god's word and deep it into your you know your system until you have fully sat with it and are fully convinced about um what god has called you to do in the task of reading that word so i pray this helped you guys in terms of recognizing when you're under spiritual attack or when the enemy of your soul is attacking you if this video was helpful as usual like share subscribe you know the deal my husband and i one announcement before i sign off has started a podcast it is called testify unashamed and i'm super super excited about it because in this podcast we are allowing the holy spirit to speak and simultaneously we're allowing people to share their testimonies and in doing so we're tapping into revelations 12 11 where it talks about we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony and the whole point of these testimonies is to shine light on jesus and to also give you the practical spiritual strategy right that people utilize as we speak to their testimonies to overcome the devices of hell and the plans of the enemy so tune in i'll put a link in the description box below but yeah find us on spotify i believe we're on apple we've only done a couple of episodes well yeah we've only done a couple of episodes hopefully by the time this video is released the first pilot episode is up but yep yeah, it's called testify unashamed they're not super long you could do it listen to us in the way to you know work or in your car whatever the case is have an amazing rest of the day and i will see you guys later bye